Hello class, let's take a look at another example and this introduces some more complex splitting patterns that we need to be aware of. So when you look at this molecule, it'd be a good idea to pause the video and predict how many signals you would expect and their splitting patterns. What do you think? So do the replacement test. Okay. Now let's see what now let's see what you've come up with. Okay. So we have our let's go with the black pen. So we have bromine. Okay. Now what's really, really interesting is we can see that well what how many signals would we ex expect how many chemically distinct hydrogens are there we could say hey that one for sure is going to be a signal now is it all a's are they all the same if you do the replacement test between this guy and this guy you will find that they are diastereotopic. So they are never equivalent. So that's going to be a B. Now you could say, hey, what is that? What is the relationship between those two circle protons? You will once again find that they are diastereotopic and are not equivalent. But are these two equivalent? You will find, after you do the replacement test, they are not equivalent. So all three of those protons are chemically distinct. And so we would expect three signals. Now, now that we have A, B, and C, what would we predict their splitting pattern to be? Well, if we start with this HA, we see it's attached to this carbon. So we have to go to the adjacent carbon and then count how many hydrogens there are. So a common mistake that students would make would be HA would be split into, there's two protons there, so two plus one would be a triplet. But that is a mistake because you cannot use the N plus one rule when there are chemically distinct hydrogens. Remember, you have to do them separately. So that is the wrong answer. The correct answer would be there's one C proton. So one plus one equals two, which is a doublet. So HA is split by HC as a doublet, but HA is also split by HB, and there's only one of them, so one plus one equals two equals a doublet. So HA actually gets split as a doublet of a doublet, or you can just go DD, or go like that, doublet of a doublet. Now if we go through this analysis, for every one, you would see that you you will get the same answer. Because if we look at, let, no, let's do HB. What is the splitting pattern of HB? HB is going to be split by HA as a doublet. And then HB is going to be split by HC as a doublet. So a doublet of a doublet. And then the same answer for HC. Doublet of a doublet. Well, that's another complex splitting pattern. Now, what does that look like? That's what it looks like. Okay. Now, one thing I want to point out to you is that when we look at this signal right here, many people will see four peaks and call that a quartet. But that's a doublet of a doublet. Recall that a quartet typically looks like this where you have two tall peaks and two shorter peaks. But in a doublet of a doublet, it doesn't look that way. Okay. So some people might mistake it as a quartet, but they're not. 
They're doublets of doublets. Okay. So that's what a doublet of a doublet looks like. Okay. So in a previous video, I drew a splitting diagram. Well, I'm going to draw this splitting diagram in class.